so he looked at the rider next to him and the rider was wearing black clothes and his face was hidden and he was afraid and he said to the rider who are you and what do you want and the rider said to him Shaddad I want you I've come to get you and when he said that Shaddad knew that uh, who this rider was that this is the angel of death sometimes he's known as Azrael alayhi salam that Allah has sent him and his time is up it's time for him to die so he begged the angel of death and pleaded with him and he said please I've spent the last 700 years making this beautiful garden and I haven't seen it once I was so busy arranging all the people the workers and the money and all the plans that I never had time to come and have a look at it and now that it's finished I'm on my way to go and see it please give me just a little bit of time so I can just go and see this garden once and then I'll come with you the rider said Allah told me to come and get you Allah did not tell me to give you any time or to delay I am not allowed to delay your time is finished you must come with me and then the angel of death took Shaddad's soul out of his body and took it to Allah so he spent all this time building this this beautiful garden but because it was not Allah's command and Allah did not give him the ability to go and see it to enjoy it he was not able to enjoy it and all the time every single day Hud would come and tell him to pray and to help the poor people and to stop taking people's money with by force he wouldn't stop he would not listen and he spent his whole life well not his whole life but 700 years of his 900 years doing this project but in the end he was not able to benefit from it because Allah did not write it and Allah did not allow him so we must understand from this that unless Allah gives us the ability to benefit from something no matter how hard we work or how much we want something we will not get it and we must pray to Allah and ask him to help us and when Muhammad peace be upon him went to the Miraj when he went to visit heaven and spoke to the angels he asked the angel of death that did he ever feel sorry for anybody when he was taking away their soul when he was ending their life and the angel of death said that he in all the years that he has been taking people's lives away he only felt sorry for two people he said one of them was a baby who was the only survivor from a shipwreck and he was floating on a piece of wood and the and the ship that he was in was broken all over he said that he felt sorry for the baby when he was taking his mother's life and he said the second person that he felt sorry for was Shaddad when he begged and pleaded with him to give him a little bit more time so he could see his garden that when he could not give him some more time and he had to take him there and then he felt a little bit sorry for Shaddad for not allowing him to for not being able to give him some time so that he could see the fruit of all the 700 years of hard work that he had put in and then Allah informed the angel of death and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that not to feel sorry for Shaddad because that baby on the piece of wood floating in the sea was Shaddad the Allah took the baby who was all alone his mother had died and he was floating all alone in the middle of the sea Allah saved that baby 
and he blessed him with wealth and strength and health and made him king and gave him power over people and influence and made him the strongest king in the whole world he made him a superpower and that king when Allah has made took him from being a a weak baby all alone floating in the sea to the most powerful man on earth he was not thankful to Allah and he did not pray to Allah and he did not obey Allah he did not listen to Allah and instead he used his power to harm people and to oppress people and to disobey Allah so so that the angel of death and Muhammad sallallahu and, and the believers they should not feel sorry for people like Shaddad thank you for listening assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh